March 23rd. We couldn't afford a babysitter for our kids, so we resorted to Netflix and PJ Masks. There are three heroes in PJ Masks, Catboy, Gecko, and Owlette. Each hero has four sets of pajamas. Each set of pajamas has two pockets. How many pockets are there in all? What up my quarantine people? Uh, welcome to your first third grade quarantine problem. We had so much commercial success with fourth and fifth grade that we had a lot of third graders and teachers asking, what about third grade? So here we go. Let's dive right in. Uh, most of you are new to quarantine math, and so I want to introduce to you our word problem strategy called Sides Check. If you don't know what it is, you can check out our awesome um, card up here. Okay, but basically what it is, it's a statement. We're going to identify, we're going to develop a plan, we're going to write the equation, and we're going to solve, and then of course we're going to check it. Okay, so go ahead and listen to that song before you watch this. You might understand a little bit better what we're doing. Um, our, our statement, though, is when we are going to take the question and restate it with a blank for the answer. So the question was asking us, how many pockets are there in total? So our statement's going to say, there were blank pockets in all, right, or total, or um, we're bringing the pockets together, basically. So that's our statement. When we go back and listen to the word problem again, we're looking for anything about pockets, okay, or anything that has to do with pockets and how, how we're going to figure that out. And typically, when we identify, okay, we would circle keywords on the paper in front of us when we're doing a word problem. But because all the paper is gone, because of quarantine and we have to do our math on this computer, I'm just going to jot down what I would have identified for this word problem. Okay, I would have identified there being three heroes because the pockets belong to the heroes. And then each of those heroes, each hero has four PJs, okay, or pajamas. And that's important because pockets go with the pajamas. And then our last one says that each PJ or pajama has two pockets, okay? So I see a lot of repeated addition, um, and I know in third grade we learned that repeated addition is also multiplication, so I'm gonna be drawing a tape diagram to develop my plan, okay? We love tape diagrams here at um, Quarantine Math and Instruct the Beats. It's just a visual way to show your work. If you don't know what it is, um, go ahead and you can YouTube, you can find things all over about it. Uh, we have some more advanced tape diagram videos that you can check out if you want. You can look at our page. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to split this into three heroes, okay? And then you always want to label it. So here is Catboy, or Cat. And then there was Gecko, okay? I don't know how to spell Gecko. I think that's how you spell Gecko. This is the one my son always calls me. He likes to be Catboy because he thinks he's the leader. And then we also have Owlette, and that would be my wife, according to my son. And so we know that there were three heroes, okay? And they each had four PJs. So I'm gonna go ahead and split each of these heroes into four boxes, okay? And this is their four sets of PJs. And then Gecko had the same amount. And then Owlette also had the same amount, okay? So we know that we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Pajamas. Now, if you don't do a visual model, if you're trying to do this in your head, if you're trying to take shortcuts, you might say that the answer is 12. However, that can't be the answer because this is not 12 pockets. This is 12 pajamas. And my statement is asking me for blank pocket. So this is another way to use your statement to see if you have answered the question yet. Okay, because a lot of people like to stop after the first step, but you can't stop because this is pajamas, not pockets. So I can't magically turn pajamas into pockets unless I ripped them apart and re sewed them, but we're not doing that in a word problem, right? So that's my first information. And then each of my pajamas has two pockets. So I'm going to go ahead and put two in here. Okay, so two pockets, two pockets for all my sets of pajamas. 
and I'm looking for how many pockets do I have all together. Now that I've done this visual model, there's a couple different ways I could solve this, right? I could do repeated addition. I could skip count by two. Two plus two plus two plus two plus two plus two, which is totally fine because there's not that many twos. Or you could re view repeated addition as multiplication, right? So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve groups of two, and that's going to tell me how many pockets I have, okay? Now, this is a basic fact. Some of you might know it, some of you might not. Um, so I'll show you a different, uh, show you a way to do it. Or, like I said, you could just do repeat addition. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. So my answer is 24 pockets in all. Okay, so now I have my equation. I've already solved it using repeat addition, but we always, if you did the multiplication, let's just check it. Okay, so what I'm going to use, I'm going to use the distributive property here to multiply this bigger factor. If you don't know how to do that, you can check out our song up here, an awesome song. And so I'm going to split this apart into 10 and 2. Okay, now I know 10, and I'm going to multiply both of these by 2, right? So 10 times 2 is 20, and then 2 times 2 is 4, and when I add those together, I get 24, right? Some of you might even know the standard algorithm, which is just 12 times 2, and you multiply across, and you get, or sorry, you multiply from right to left, and you get 24. So any of these ways to solve this problem is fine, as long as you develop a plan. And if you got 12, that means you didn't do all the steps because you didn't use your statement to guide your thinking. Thank you so much for joining us on Quarantine Math today. Check us out tomorrow for an awesome problem. Um, it's going to be a great time. As always, we love having you here with us today, Quarantine Math and Destruct the Beats. Please like the video and subscribe if you would. And in these times of special needs, please wash your hands. Don't touch your face. If you're feeling sick, stay inside. Stay safe. Do math. I'm out.